Hi, we're Stuart and Stuart Brew. Join us as we explore the UK in Evandra, our 1996 or Auto Trail Scout. With us on our adventure are our three dogs. Pixie, Soda and Luna. Jump in the passenger seat as we share with you our travels and experiences of full-time van life. Our first night, we actually decided to stop in Scarborough. We have seen quite a few people stop here, so we thought, this is back in our neck of the woods, but let's give it a go anyway. Yeah, it was a bit noisy, wasn't it? it was, I mean, it's really busy on North Marine Road, uh, Albert Drive. The noise doesn't bother me so much. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of noise. But yeah, you do get the boy races at night time. What is quite nice though, Scarborough does actually have an L sign point, doesn't it? Probably not stop there again. It was worth a look. After Scarborough, we headed to the beautiful North Yorkshire town of Pickerin. And we've actually come here because my mum actually has a book in Pickerin called The Bay Horse. We are going to head there and see my mum and my little sister. So we managed to quickly stop for something quick to eat. The dogs are back at the van now, we've had them for a walk out. So we've look at these meals. So I'm having scampi and Andrew's having steak pie. Oh yeah. You struggling Andrew? Just a bit. Well have a look, have a look in the bowl. Right, so this was it was full. You can see where the thing is. But yeah, I'm a bit flushed as well. A bit. It is one of the best. One of the best steak pies I've ever had. It is absolutely amazing. It really, really is. I love these chips and as well. They do do Sunday's dinner, Andrew. Yeah. So I think it might be Sunday's dinner tomorrow. <laughs> I think it might be. Right, I'll let you eat. Give it a try. We did actually find a park up here. Big bear bikes. Their car park at the back. And it did say that you had to ask for a key for fresh water and for disposal. We actually were told that there wasn't a key, so we didn't actually get any fresh water and we were able to get rid of our waste. Are you ready for your Cinder's dinner? I'm bloody starving. Can't wait. What are you having? After yesterday's pie, I'm high expectations of this Sunday dinner today. What am I having? Um, I think there's three choices of me. There was. There was beef. Beef, chicken and gammon. gammon, I think. Yeah. I had beef yesterday in the pie and it was really special, so I might go for gammon for a change. Ooh, gammon. Yeah. So they even have a fireplace. So we might be able to even get a fire going. I think I'm going to have beef. The beef looked nice. We were asking yesterday, so there's quite a lot of history in this place, isn't there? We found out there's a, I can't remember what you call it, but like a hidden doorway in this corner where they used to hide people, apparently. What do they call when they were hiding because of the religion? Um, priest holes. That's what it is, it's a priest hole. And apparently it goes up there, up into the ceiling, and then all the way along, and then down into the back of the bar. And we managed to quickly pop out for a few rooms that night, and we managed to bump into the one and only Bongo Man. We're back. At the NEC with Auto Trail! <laughs> On our way down south, we did stop over at the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show. If it's something you have a quick look at, we do have a video linked for you up on the right hand corner. Hey guys! This is our first park up since the NEC, and we've come to that absolute beautiful place of Iron Bridge, which I'd never even heard of until Andrew was like, oh, should we go there? And I have to say, it's stunning, isn't it? It is, even I'm surprised. I thought it was just going to be like the Iron Bridge and that would be it, but no, there's some lovely shops. Uh, the river's, well, it's quite high at the moment, we'll show you. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely place. Yeah, so we just had the dogs out for a nice big walk along the river, well, near the river, because it's all flooded and burst the banks. And we've seen loads of little shops and antique shops. and So Stuart's going to spend some money. After nearly getting wiped out by a truck. Well, 
while we were at the museum in Ironbridge, we did actually see how high the water level actually gets here. In hindsight, that should have been a warning of what was to come. But no, no, not me and Andrew. But it is rather worrying that it can actually get that high. So we were just deciding that we were both hungry because we had nothing to eat all day. And we decided whether to go to one of the cafes or um, there's a, like an antique place with a tea shop. But you know what these places are like, they're so expensive. But we just accidentally fell into the co-op and I got an orange sticker. They don't do yellow stickers, they do orange stickers. So an all day breakfast Lincolnshire sausage baguette should be £2.80. 70p! And it's hot. What else did you get? Free, free brown sauce. And then we also got... Some Can you tell? Look, all you got to do is <laughs> the top of the bag and all you can see is yellow stickers. Yellow stickers, yellow stickers. I don't care. Yeah, but we've got poppets, yep. which I love. So the, the little pop cake things. Look, 49p. So we've got donuts. They were... Orange sticker donuts, 60p. And then you got some hot cross buns as well. I'm a sausage expert, as you know. <laughs> it's Lincolnshire sausage, it's really, really nice. Right, well let the maid stop your mouth. Okay. Look at the view. And the pretty. Show them the flood. And then a brand new lake that they didn't know they were going to have. <laughs> Even they didn't know they were having it. <laughs> but yeah, the river's just behind these trees. You can just make it out there in the middle. But look, all the flowers are out really early as well. It is such a lovely place though, isn't it? I'm really impressed, it's a lovely place, yeah. It's not something that we ever thought we would... Well, to be fair, I didn't know it existed, to be honest. But it is such a lovely little place to come and visit. And they've got something like six or seven museums right around here. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, it's just one of those... When we were looking from where we were, down towards Bristol Western Supermare, yeah. And we said, well, it's too long of a drive to do in one go, so where's halfway? And it was about here, wasn't it? Yeah. Our park up at Ironbridge was at Bedlam Furnaces, which is £4 all day. Please be a simple little turn. It's not going to be, is it? It's going to be horrendous. Oh my God, it is really bad, Andrew. Go on. Oh, I don't like turns like that. God. That is not fun. <laughs> I can't even see the view, really. But that is us leaving Iron Gate because Iron our Bridge. batteries, Iron Bridge, sorry, Iron Gate, it's the same thing because our batteries are dying. We're not getting any sun, and last night the heavens opened, and I've got a horrible feeling it's about to flood again. So we're just on the, is it the Severn River? Yeah. Yeah, and it, it does look like it's about to, well, it's already burst its banks, but it looks like it's about to get very close to the road. Okay, quick question. Am I the only person who gets excited when you're on a back country lane and all of a sudden you see a bus or a lorry coming towards you? because you know that you're going to fit and there's no big huge bends. I can't be the only one. So we were on a campsite, we can hear a load of noise and that's because all the sheep are out the field, all around the van. So Andrew, listen, look at the little baby one. So Andrew's just going to go, ow, Andrew's going to go and get, let them back in. Well, I'm guessing somebody that hasn't closed the gate, just take your time because they're going to freak out. Go slowly. I'm more worried that he opens the gate and they all, there's like 500 sheep just come running at him. Mr. Superhero. Just open a little bit, step back. Have they all gone in? We're there, Andrew, because that one's half in, half out. Give it a hand. Push it. Go on, you're all right. Yay! Andrew the Sheep Whisperer. I can't believe you got them all back in. That was so cute. <laughs> we're there, we're there. Come on, you've even got your Doctor Who PJs on. Come on, show them off. Oh, don't be showing them off. 
<laughs> Look, he's got his Doctor Who pages on. I had to push a sheep through a gate. <laughs> You got them all back in, even the little tiny baby sheep. Oh, I know, because I wanted to. They knew where they were going. Oh, so that is us, well, leaving Upton, isn't it? Yeah, um, not been a very good couple of days, has it really? So we uh, we we left Ironbridge and headed south because that's where we're heading right now. Um, and we had a we had a pit stop, so we stopped at the Drum and Monkey. We pub. did. Because we needed to charge our batteries up. Yeah, batteries, toilet, showers. water, showers, uh, the usual pit stop for us. You know, we can't we can't go forever without without uh, stopping no. at some point and and servicing the vehicle. We did find a free park up, didn't we, on Park for Night? And it's actually a really really nice park up. If the River Severn wasn't flooded badly, we've pulled up and the road was actually all right. But yeah, now it isn't. So I'm soaking wet. It's doing nothing but rain, so we are moving off. We're going to have to head somewhere south. Yeah, we, we pulled up onto um, this road just outside of Upton, and Upton's a wonderful place, by the way, if you've never been, um, but kind of flooded. Every, the, it's just flooded everywhere. Look, I went and I bought some fabric for the door. Sorry, I was interrupting you because I had to tell people about this fabric. <laughs> We've been searching everywhere and there was a lovely shop, just, wasn't there? Just, 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 just tell them about the fabric, Stuart. Sorry, I can't help it. So we want to, we, our door, our main door, isn't looking the best on the inside. So we were looking for some like waterproof, wipeable fabric. And we found a lovely little shop, didn't we, in Upton? Yeah. And she was a lovely lady. We were tagging in law. Um, and we got some fox fabric. So it's really cute. So that was, Upton was really, really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I, I was well impressed with it. We've never been before, like most Maybe of the places we're it. going. Um, and rocked up and had, had a look around because we left, we left the pub um, on the morning, this morning. Um, so we thought we'd have a look around the town. And it, you had a parcel. It kind of, well. yeah, a parcel to pick up, which is the reason why we went, well, why we went in. But we're glad we did. And um, loads of pubs, loads of little antique shops, and loads of lovely shops up and down. Quite obviously, it's, it's quite touristy. Yeah. I've never heard of it, to be fair. But yeah, this the river was. I think we we're a bit naive. We pulled up, and you can you can see the water inside. But when we got back, it's now going right across the whole entire road, which we're going to have to drive through. So fingers crossed, it isn't actually that deep. Um, but we have found a few parkups, haven't we? That arms. Yep too far off the beaten track for us yeah so we're going to head there now aren't we because it's just it's not great at all here we're going to head down to bristol um we think that that's going to be safe as as anywhere yeah, um, a few past past the estuary for the seven isn't it yes. because it's the we seven that's seven. the river seven is so swollen right now it's just it's scary and dry out because yeah i'm soaked yeah you're so, all right joe's have been bald yeah don't worry about your hair yeah <laughs> so yeah join us next next week um where we're going to start at bristol and head south western supermare maybe burnham on sea and we'll see where we get to we will there is a few places we want to visit on the way down because we have a park up don't we in a few weeks on our site so we know roughly where we're heading yeah we've just got to start heading that way and yeah, hopefully well, avoid all this rain the, the plan is we would do Cornwall, Devon, and then the South Coast. So we're just going to take a, a lazy drive down. Problem is, at the moment, the weather's that awful um, that everywhere's flooded and wet and muddy and, and pretty hot and pretty. That's, but it is February, you yes, know. We, we keep forgetting, it is we keep forgetting that last summer we did loads and the weather was quite okay. And, you know, it's still winter. So we're going to do our best. We'll see what happens. But this past week's been quite busy. Yeah. Let's be honest, we've done quite a lot this last week, yeah, travelling down and yeah. a few odd places here and there. But yes, so join us next week and see where we end up. Yeah, and see what I would do with this fabric that's going on the door. <laughs> and see if that's that it actually... now, I've now got a theme. <laughs> I've been taking me for ages to find a theme and now I've got one and I'm happy. Yeah, see, yeah, we'll, we'll include that in next week to see what we've we done will. with the door. We will see you next week. Bye! Bye! Join us next week to see whether a van's returned into a boat <laughs> or we managed to get past all the floods. Also, please don't forget if you have liked this video and enjoy our content, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget if you'd like to come part of our online van life family, hit that subscribe button.